Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Umar bin Abdul Majid from class 5 Jujo. Uh, today I'm going to present my work which is one of the application of Archimedes principle. The application that I choose is submarine. So I would like to do one experiment uh, which involving three different masses of bottle before we go deeper through the submarine concept. So the first bottle is filled with water, fully filled with water. The second bottle is partially filled with water and the last bottle is empty so there, there is no water in it. Uh, we will observe what is going to happen to each bottle when we immerse it into the water and then we are going to relate this experiment with the submarine concept. Okay, so let's move on to our experiment. Okay, okay. Moving on to our experiment, first I will put the empty bottle inside water. So as we can see the bottle is floating and then I'm going to put the partially filter with water bottle. As we can see, both bottles are floating but one goes deeper. So what do you think is going to happen? to the bottle that is fully filled with water. So, let's put it now. As we can see, the bottle which is fully filled with water um, is sinking right now. So, let's take out and prove it. This is the bottle, the empty bottle. This is the partially filled with water bottle. And this is the fully filled with water bottle. So, as we know, submarine can go float or sink every time they want. But how do they work? How do they even sink and how do they even float? Okay, so firstly, submarine has outer hull which is watertight. So it will not allow any water to enter submarine. And then, it also has ballast tanks. What is the function of ballast tanks? The ballast tanks are the one that make the submarine sink or float. So how do they work? Firstly, when the ballast tank is filled with water, the weight of submarine increases and it will also become greater than the buoyant force, the upthrust. When the weight is more than the upthrust, uh, the submarine uh, will move downwards. Why? Because there is a net force acting downwards. So how do they, how do they make the submarine float when the submarine has already sink into the seawater? They empty the ballast tanks. Uh, when they empty the ballast tanks, the weight uh, decreases and the upthrust, which is the buoyant force, uh, is greater than the weight of the submarine. Therefore, there is a net force acting upwards and making the submarine uh, float on the surface of seawater. As we can see, the experiment that we have already conducted involving three different masses of bottles is similar to the concept of ballast tanks. When the bottle is filled with water, it will move downwards and sink to the bottom of the pail while when the bottle is empty uh, the bottle will move upwards and float on the surface of the water so this is similar to the ballast tanks which needs to be filled with water to make the submarine sink while uh, it needs to be empty out the water to make the submarine float therefore this is the purpose of me conducting the experiment to show the relation between different masses of bottle and sinking or floating of itself. Generally, we know that density is equal to mass over volume. When the density is constant, mass is directly proportional to volume. Based on these two situations, we can see that the first bottle is filled with water and the second bottle is empty. So, we can conclude that the first bottle has greater mass compared to the second bottle. So, the greater the mass of a bottle, the greater the volume of water displaced while the lower the mass of a bottle the lower the volume of water displaced so 
it should be that the first bottle they experience greater buoyant force right because it displays more water but why do the first bottle sink even though the buoyant force acting on it is greater than the buoyant force acting on the second bottle this is because there is another formula which is w equal to mg weight equal to mass times gravitational acceleration when the mass increases the weight of the bottle also increases and it becomes greater than the buoyant force itself therefore it will sink for the second bottle even though it has low buoyant force but the weight is lower than the buoyant force itself therefore the bottle will float that's all from me thank you